Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Downs with Sleep Balance Academy. And I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about the use of the snore device. This is the uh, snore device. I have Stefan Gefter online with me. And uh, Stefan, you had this, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, Stefan got the older model of snore, which just, uh, it, uh, it vibrates to modulate to get you to sleep on your side because you had a snoring issue, is that right? That is correct, according to my wife. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. As a matter of fact, yes. when you ask patients about whether they snore or not, the, be the better question is, do you know if you snore or has anyone told you that you snore? Because many yes. people don't know that they do. That's correct, exactly. And so what was it causing for you? What kind of issues? Well, I think it, it uh, for, for my health, um, you know, I would wake up very fatigued in the morning. Uh, my wife would wake up also very fatigued and complain about the uh, snoring during the night and having to wake up and shake me and try to get me to move position. And uh, systemically, um, you know, that, that morning fatigue uh, would require an extra cup of coffee or two uh, before I felt, um, you know, ready to take on the day. So um, definitely, you know, it was worth looking into and uh, so I started researching different technologies that were available and uh, happened to come across the snore as, as an option. And uh, within a night or two, uh, my wife said that uh, the snoring was much improved. And, um, you know, from there, you know, moved into uh, other aspects of improving my health. Did you know that you had a sleep disorder at all? Or did you, did you understand that snoring was a big issue? You know, I, I, you know, from the periphery, you know, I had heard that uh, snoring, you know, could have other uh, related health impacts like sleep apnea and other things. But uh, considering, you know, my own sense of immortality, I really didn't pursue those yeah. um, really until, you know, I had the opportunity to, to get the snore and, um, you know, look at, uh, you know, sleep test options and, and, and move on from there. And remarkably, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, sleep apnea, mm -hmm. and that led to me uh, getting uh, an oral appliance, uh, which um, I'm actually going to reschedule a sleep test, um, you know, for the next few weeks to see, you know, between the initial diagnosis in the spring and, you know, seven months later, if there's been um, <clears throat> any improvement in that. Okay. So... Stefan, uh, when you got the snore device, um, uh, I talked to you about the possibility that you might have a sleep disorder. Is that correct? That is, that is, and, and very much appreciate that guidance. Um, <clears throat> even though I'm in the dental industry myself, I'm not really involved in the in the sleep or the sleep apnea uh, side of um, of the profession. Yeah. And having your your input was uh, was very instrumental in me uh, getting myself checked out. And Stefan, what, what is your uh, role in dentistry right now? What company do you work with? Well, I work for a company called Aseptico, and I handle the international sales as well as some of our strategic business. Uh, we manufacture primarily uh, dental implant motors, uh, endo motors for root canals, as well as portable field equipment for mission work and public health in the military and such. Yeah, I'm quite familiar with that. Thank you, Stefan. So um, when, when we did the sleep apnea testing, I sent you one from homesleepstudy.com, onlinehomesleepstudy.com, my website for uh, getting uh, uh, sleep studies sent to people uh, remotely. And then I had the onlinehomesleepstudy.com uh, board certified sleep physician give you a diagnosis, which you took to your physician. Is that correct? That is, that is. And every uh, aspect of getting that uh, unit, uh, using the unit, you know, you were there with me every step of the way. So I definitely appreciate that. You're welcome. So uh, right now, uh, would you say that uh, snoring was a good step? This, this first step, the snoring device was a good first step for you to finally realize your need for a home sleep study? Absolutely. And again, um, you know, my, my initial priority was to reduce or eliminate snoring. my snoring. And because um, of the sleep apnea connection to snoring, 
that um, you know, came as a, as, a, as a secondary benefit to getting involved with SNOR. Right. So Stefan got is, is the prototype or actually the precursor to the updated uh, device. Now, this device, Stefan, uh, actually, if you can see the little blue dot on there, is set up so that it'll actually monitor your sleep position as well. So not only does it sit on the breastbone and allow you to, uh, to guide you to sleep on your side, but this new device can be programmed to teach you to sleep on your left side only, your right side only, uh, on a supine position, even in an up, upright position. It has the versatility to do that as well as record all night long which side you're sleeping on and how long. And, and wow. so that's, this is pretty nice and it hasn't gone up and crossed. It's still, it's still only $59. And that's great. Cents. So it's, uh, it's been great to, uh, to find these upgrades and uh, to be able to offer them to people. So anyway, I think that uh, your story is very important because the dentist and the chiropractors and other uh, medicine people that I talk to about snore and who are trying to find patients within their practice who are interested in getting treatment for sleep apnea don't realize that snoring could be the key. There's a lot of people who are interested in snoring. There's a whole lot of interest out there. And once they uh, become a snore uh, customer, they can also uh, then be uh, talked to with a more, uh, uh, more interest in their possible having a, a sleep disorder. So I thank you for this testimonial. It's very important to us. Oh, not at all. And, and you know, as part of my journey in investigating um, the different options for treating sleep apnea, there are certainly a lot out there. So patients yeah. should not be intimidated about, you know, one particular technology. There may be other options available to them that may be less, right. you know, cumbersome or prohibitive. So, uh, it, you know, doing that research is very important as well. But again, Snore opened that door for me and, you know, I'm very grateful. Yes, there are actually devices out there that do the same thing as this thing does. And, but they are uh, around uh, 250 to $300 to, to, uh, for a dentist to get. So. Yeah, and I, and I was referring more to uh, uh, for the sleep apnea treatment uh, relative to a CPAP okay. or a um, exactly. oral appliance. Exactly. You know, I went the oral appliance route because I do uh, travel for business, or at least mm -hmm. I did before the yeah. pandemic. Um, but really, I was looking for something more portable and, and, and a lot less cumbersome. And using that in conjunction with the snore, again, my wife is uh, getting a lot more rest, and I think I am too. I'm glad you brought that up, uh, Stefan, because... Uh, this can be used in addition to your oral appliance, and it can also be used in addition to a CPAP use. In other words, many times our sleep disorders are positional. People are snore worse on their back, and they have breathing issues worse on their back. And by, by teaching people to sleep on their side, you can improve the function of the oral sleep appliance as well as a CPAP device. So the combination therapies are very, very useful. Thank you. Yeah, that's, been, yeah, that's been my experience for sure. Yeah, good. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your help. Not at all. And I appreciate you and the effort you're putting into helping people uh, get healthy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stefan.